Guys, today I have huge news about the artificial kidney. The human trials are near. So, welcome back to all my subscribers and if you are new here, my name is Catherine and I've been working with kidney disease patients for almost 10 years now. Today, I will say something I didn't believe I will ever say in my life. Your doctor is wrong about kidney disease. There are new findings about nutrition and therapy that will change the way we look at kidney health forever. First of all, because every single doctor and nephrologist I've met recommends taking blood pressure pills to protect the kidneys. But this week, all the major medical journals are headlining. Common hypertension drugs can cause kidney damage. Are you affected? Yes. This is shocking and we'll get in deep about this in today's video. We'll see exactly who should stop taking blood pressure medications immediately. Second reason why your doctor is wrong. All doctors will tell you that kidney disease is a degenerative condition. No chance of improving once you get diagnosed. And yet I have a lot of comments I can show you even right now of people that were able to get an improvement in kidney function. This is just one of the many comments I got on my recent videos. My mother is out of dialysis thanks to your tips and we have seen great improvements in lab tests. Doctors can't believe. Yes, her mother's doctors were wrong too. And guys, I have another reason why you should be optimistic about kidney health. There is incredible news about the artificial kidney I want to share with you. Let's see it. According to the Facebook page of the Kidney Project, the team that's developing the bioartificial kidney, they are getting closer to start the human trials now. This is because there's been a huge step forward with the bioreactor. Why is this so important? The bioartificial kidney, once implanted inside the receiver, will be able to filter the blood just like a kidney. It will only be powered by the human body without the need for anti-rejection medications and it will guarantee that the patient will stay dialysis free on the long term. And guys, what they discovered is crucial for the bioartificial kidney to work properly because it can keep the renal cell in the bioreactor alive. Keeping the cells in the bioreactor alive long term is one of the biggest challenges the researchers are facing with the bioartificial kidney. You see, the artificial kidney is made of two parts. The hemofilter basically does what the dialysis machine does. It removes toxins and scores from the blood. Now, this piece here is the bioreactor. This is what the fuss is all about. The bioreactor actually houses alive kidney cells. Isn't that incredible? These cells are needed to perform many of the functions a human kidney does, like regulating blood pressure, maintaining water volume, electrolyte balance, and metabolic functions. So, these cells need to stay alive long term if the receiver of the bioartificial kidney doesn't want to need a new transplant every few months. Yes, the bioreactor is what makes this marvel of technology a bioartificial organ. What they discovered is a way to prevent the enzymes naturally present in the body to degrade the renal cells present in the bioreactor. This incredible breakthrough involved the use of the transforming growth factor beta pathway for genetic targeting. The use of TGF beta pathway can increase the expression of key membrane bound transport proteins to improve their function. According to Vanderbilt's Dr. William Fisa and the technical director of the Kini project, Dr. Shivaroy. Amazing! They are really close now to start testing the bioartificial kidney on kidney disease patients. Now guys, if you want to know more about the bioartificial kidney, when is it going to be available and how much is it going to cost, my video up here has all the answers. And in a recent interview, the team leader of the Bioartificial Kidney Project basically admitted that he really believes they are going to start the human trials this year. So 
absolutely subscribe here and set the notification bell to all so I can keep you updated about the development. And this makes me feel full of hope for all the people doing dialysis right now. Yes, dialysis is not the end. Let me read another comment from Double Okini very quickly. My name is Adrian. I was on dialysis. My EGFR was only 3. I watch a lot of your videos. Doctor said I am no longer need dialysis since December 31st. I used to have 2 times a week. But now I am free. My EGFR increased to 25. I followed the necessary vitamins and food and consulted with my doctor. Almost 3 months ago I was 103 kilos, now I am 78 kilos. I am blessed to share the good news with you. Thank you so much for your channel. Thank you, thank you very much Adrian for sharing your story with us. This is absolutely amazing and it's proof that you should never lose hope. And also that you should get informed exactly about what you need to get better and achieve it with good habits and well-researched nutrition and vitamin supplementation. There is a reason why I always put a lot of emphasis on vitamin supplementation. It's because many doctors get it all wrong. Let's see why. Alpha Calcidol, has your doctor ever mentioned this vitamin to you? he probably should have. There are studies proving that supplementing this vitamin can seriously slow down the progression of kidney disease. Alpha calcidol is a vitamin D analog. It's the vitamin people with kidney problems need the most actually. Still, up to 90% of kidney disease patients have low levels of vitamin D. The problem is not that they don't get enough of it. The problem is another. The problem is that their kidneys cannot convert vitamin D from foods, sun and supplements into an active form the body can use. This active form is called alpha calcidol. Yes, for many patients, supplementing regular vitamin D3 won't help. It will just burden the kidneys. Low vitamin D levels have been linked to fatigue, frequent infections, bone pain and a faster decline in kidney function. Vitamin D is also crucial for calcium absorption and this may also happen to people already supplementing vitamin D3 if the kidneys aren't working properly. Never underestimate the importance of supplementing the correct vitamins for kidney health. Now, even if alpha calcidol is a vitamin, it is still a prescription medication, so you will need your doctor to prescribe it to you. And while this form of vitamin D is already being prescribed to patients with end-stage renal disease, recent research is making doctors reconsider this vitamin even for those in stage 3 and 4 of CKD. So, talk to your doctor if your levels of vitamin D are low despite already supplementing it. Ok guys, time to talk about the big news for today. This is really big. Common hypertension drugs can cause kidney damage. Are you affected? All the major medical journals are talking about this. Even Science Daily published about this study. Long term use of blood pressure drugs may cause kidney damage, study suggests. Now guys, if you follow me regularly, you may remember that in my recent video, I warned you about the dangers of beta blockers, a very common type of blood pressure lowering medication. And today, yet another blood pressure pill is proven to be very dangerous, even worse than beta blockers, especially for the kidneys of those suffering from kidney disease. I'm talking about ACE inhibitors, one of the most common blood pressure medications. New research from the University of Virginia School UVA of Medicine found out that ACE inhibitors, one of the most common blood pressure medications, can cause kidney damage on the long term even in people with healthy kidneys. 
We can only imagine what kind of damage these medications can do to the kidneys of someone with CKD. Ace inhibitors, including lisinopril, enalipril, and benazepril, are very commonly prescribed to people with CKD. And now we find out that they actually cause kidney damage even in healthy kidneys. This is frankly shocking. Yes, your doctor is wrong about prescribing ACE inhibitors. But guys, please don't panic even if you are already taking these medications and don't stop taking them without consulting your doctor. I want to be very clear on this. It's not wise to let blood pressure out of control even for a short amount of time. So, what to do if you are taking lisinopril, enalipril, or another ACE inhibitor now linked to kidney damage? First of all, schedule a doctor appointment ASAP and let them know about this new research. Ask to be put on a different medication. And even better, find ways to lower blood pressure naturally. Did you know that taking garlic in a very special way can lower your blood pressure with results similar to taking a blood pressure medication but without any side effect? Yes, this is proven by science. I've talked more in depth about this in my video up here. Watch it now to know more. And this is all for today. Thank you for watching.